Hi guys. Okay. Let's try this again. Um, yeah. So I filmed a little bit previously, uh, putting together several of them, but the video started out okay. And then it got really choppy. So, uh, I don't, I'm not going to actually post those. Sorry, I'm just trying to decide what yeah, those are good. Those are good. Um, which ones to do? So it is. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, it is raining here today. That's so nice, actually. Have the window open. <laughs> so. um, I don't know. Does it count as late night crafting video? Maybe I'll have to title this one differently because it is not nighttime. It is not late. But I am crafting, so maybe I'll have to come up with a new name. Uh, for this segment. So. I'm still kind of racking my brain about how to fix the one that I ripped last night because I was tired and I pulled it too roughly. And um, so I'm trying to figure out how to fix that one in my head. I think I have an idea of how to fix it. I think I'm just going to reinforce the seam. I just don't want it to be too obvious as far as um, what it looks like. You know, I don't want it to be seen too much. And now with the little circles um, there, it'll kind of be a little bit different. So, um, I have an idea. I did that right. Yep. Okay. Those in here. This one in the center. Um, this is definitely going faster <laughs> than last night. As far as, um, whoops, putting it together. I don't know why I didn't have the idea of put the dot of glue down and then fold it so then it touches the other pieces, but apparently I was too tired to be crafting. Um, nothing so much, or, you know, so far today has really been going on. It's been a really quiet day here at the house. Um, got up this morning and uh, we made breakfast burritos and then I was super lazy and tired so just lounged around with the dogs for a little bit and then I got my inspiration to come in and um, work on these pages a little bit. I thought this was going to do a better job than it's actually doing. Um, kind of. As far as, you know, holding everything down as I'm, as I'm gluing, so. Right there, so oh, that's good. Be on the other side. Um, okay. I'm almost. 
almost done. I've been chasing magnets around <laughs> all morning. Damn. They're hard to hold on to. They're they're really tiny. They're you know only eight millimeters wide and one millimeter thick, so that doesn't you know leave a lot of room to hold on to when moving around. So okay. Pull that one down. Hold it down. Let's go ahead and see if it'll stick. Yep. It is the correct size. Side, not side. So oh. yeah. So so far nothing really eventful happening. Um, although little Mr. Blake, he's being I don't I, I don't know what to do at all. Um, he keeps pooping in the house. I know. He was he's such a good dog other than um, obviously stealing the pizza. <laughs> Um, and then the bed, I am pretty sure was truly, that was her, totally her MO. Um, you know, but, uh, he likes to have a afternoon constitutional or morning. I have no idea, but he definitely is the one who's having accidents in the house. Luckily right now it has just been pooping but and the the no-go spray or whatever it is you know with the pet enzymes um I spray it you know I clean the area and I spray it with that and he still continues to you know have um bone movements in the same spot so I'm not quite sure what to do one of my friends is going to send me information uh for a trainer that she used with her pup and uh, see if maybe that'll help the situation because I am frustrated, but you know, I want to want to do what's best for him. So I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there is um, thunder in the background and uh, I love rain and thunder and that kind of stuff. A lot of people don't like the rain, but I really do like the rain. I always say I was definitely moved to the correct state in the Pacific Northwest. It's definitely where I should be because I do really like the rain. I, I need to get a little sip. So today I had plans to shampoo my carpets. Mostly to see if that would, you know, kind of help cut on or cut down on. Oh, and I'm getting some power flickers. Um, cut down, you know, on the accidents and, and whatnot. Um, you know, do just put the, the cleaner enzyme, you know, um, on the carpets as I'm cleaning it and just, you know, see if that'll help the situation and it's raining. So that's not going to be something that we can do today because if it's raining, then where do I put the pups? Because they don't need to be running around in the house. So they can't go play in the backyard right now. So I'm going to have to put that off till another day. And that's just how it's going to have to be. So This is actually going a lot quicker than I thought it would. Um, as far as putting these together, now that I have a, a system <laughs> down that um, allows me to just kind of... go from 
magnet to magnet instead of, you know, place this one, place that one. That was pretty tedious. I'm sorry about that. I definitely could have gotten that done quite a bit faster by doing it this way. Um, and maybe this will help someone who is having um, to do the same thing. So this is helping a little bit to hold the pieces down. Um, a little bit. Still having to rub it down. Kind of press it and hold it. Awesome. All right. So. Hmm. Um, what to talk about? I already talked about wanting more paper, but who doesn't want more paper, right? Um, just kidding. I know some people aren't paper addicts like I am. Um, let's see. I am. I have to go back to work tomorrow. Or not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday. Oh my gosh. Today is Saturday. Tomorrow is Sunday. I'm a, obviously a day ahead of myself. So. There's that. Trying to keep everything on camera. I know sometimes like when I've been watching process videos and like, and they're just kind of slightly like over here doing something and you're like, pan over, I can't see what you're, do what you're doing. And I've noticed some, some of the videos have kind of gotten like that a little bit. Um, I get working back here and it's like, you can only see parts of it. So trying to be more conscientious of keeping it all on camera. The wind is really going right now. Hopefully the power stays on. We don't normally get power outages. Hold on. Knock on wood. Um, we did, we actually had a huge storm in August and it was the day of my friend's wedding and we actually lost power for 24 hours and that's, that's not very common for us here. Um, so that day was a trip. That was crazy. I don't know how my friend kept it together because if I was her, I would have definitely lost it. <laughs> um, the, just the whole thing. Like for me that day was um, kind of showing me that uh, God looks out for me because I ran to the store to get a few things. I needed some, um, bobby pins and a, and a couple other things. So I ran to the store, um, to pick those up. And I don't know if you guys notice the, the doors, the, the sliding doors, you know, when you go in and out of a store, like any grocery store, the sliding doors, well, they actually have an emergency release on the sides so that if the power goes out, that people aren't trapped inside. Um, the, it also allows them to, open up the doors so that, um, they can clean them. They can, you know, do all that. Well, I was walking into Rite Aid and I heard my phone go off. And, um, so I, there was, I knew that there was a, a lady behind me. So I just kind of stepped off to the side so, you know, she could keep going and I didn't get in her way because that, I always just think that's so rude when, you know, people are like on their phone and they're just, you know, texting and they're just not paying attention to people around them and just being inconsiderate. So I heard my phone and so I just, I just kind of stepped off to the side and let her go past and I was digging through my purse, um, to, excuse me, um, to find my phone. And all of a sudden, I heard this ginormous um, crash. And I looked up 
just in time to see like this lady was on the ground like the lady who I just stepped out of the way for and the um the door the emergency door piece had flown open because the angle that we were coming in it had flown open and hit her like right in the middle of the face like smack in the middle of her face like she immediately everything was just bloody I mean it was like blood I her front teeth I'm sure got knocked out um, I'm sure her nose was broken the ambulance came um, they took her to the hospital I'm sure because that's where, you know, ambulances take people. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't know the rest of the story, but I was like, oh my gosh, that could have been me. Like on the day of my friend's wedding, I am her maid of honor and I almost just got knocked out by a door and had to go to the hospital. Like, so then I was like, oh my gosh, thank my lucky stars. You know, that was, um, you know, I didn't get hit by the door and that, you know, all of that. So then I get home and thankfully before I had left, I had actually showered. So I didn't need to shower because when I got home, power was out and we live where we live, we live on a well. And so on the well, if we don't have power, there's no power to run the well because we don't have a backup generator attached to the well. There should be, but our landlords are not um, smart enough, I guess, to do that. So anyway, so we had no water. So thankfully, I had actually gotten up early that morning and showered. And so I hadn't done my hair. And I was thinking, oh, no big deal. You know, we'll I'll be able to do that at the venue. So I met... Um, getting ready to leave and Jack's like I don't know what to do because he hadn't showered and he was just going to drop me off at the venue and then come back later for the wedding so um he made do and um his mom actually lives two houses down and um she has a generator so he was able to get ready so anyway get to on the way to the venue there are trees that are falling because it's super windy. Um, traffic is kind of messy just because of that fact. And, um, so we make it there and I get there and, um, go in and then I notice the venue doesn't have power. And, um, <laughs> I was like, Oh boy. So not sure how we are all going to get ready. Um, at this point, my friend wasn't there yet, and um, so no one ha no one told her because obviously on your wedding day, you know you're under enough kind of stress. Well, I don't know. I I didn't have a traditional wedding. Uh, we ran away to Vegas to get married, so um, I really don't know how stressful an actual wedding is to put one on. I know that I was pretty stressed helping her with the wedding. Um, whatever. She's awesome. Totally worth it. So, um, no one had told her she gets there and she takes it in stride. I mean, you know, she's obviously, you know, upset. <laughs> and, um, anyway, the, um, the one big issue was everybody getting ready and, um, you know, not having any power for, you know, hair or anything like that. So one of the bridesmaids, uh, boyfriends, one of the other bridesmaids, her boyfriend, um, actually had a generator that he brought in and, um, they ran power to the one bathroom where all the bridesmaids were getting dressed. And, um, so we were able to somewhat do our hair. We were under a time crunch cause we were running behind, but you know, we kind of got that settled. So it wasn't terrible. <laughs> um, so she took that with stride, um, where she almost lost it though. And I would have lost it at this point too, is the venue does on site catering. 
so with the on-site catering, if there's no power, how are you going to run, you know, the, the stoves and everything like that to cook the meal? Um, so they were bringing a generator in. Um, but they, um, the generator that they normally have wasn't on site. I don't ask me why it wasn't on site. I, I believe that, you know, a facility like that should always have their generator on site, but obviously they don't, um, have it in the middle of summer for whatever reason they decided not to. And, um, so one of the, um, one of the guys was going to, from the venue was going to go get it, but then they were trying to say that they were going to, um, possibly charge my friend for the use of the generator. Yeah. Which we all thought was really, really a crappy thing to say. You know, if you have a venue, you should maybe make sure that it's gonna have power the whole time. And, um, so anyway, long story short, I know this has been a very long story, but, um, it ended up where the power came on right before the, uh, the guests started arriving. And, um, so it came on and, um, yeah. So long story short, all's well that kind of ends well. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I am probably one of the most accident prone people in the entire world. I, um, at the beginning of the day when, um, my friend and her now husband got there, they, um, he gave me his ring to hold because, you know, maid of honor holds the ring. And so I had the ring and I was holding it, holding it, holding it. And then it was time to get her in her dress and laced up and I set it down. And as soon as we were done lacing her into her dress, we're like, okay, let's get this started. Cause with all the, with everything and the delay, it, there was a lot of delays. So we were already running, um, I would say about an hour behind schedule. So we were all kind of anxious to, you know, get everything going so they could go get married. Um, so they start the processional and thankfully, you know, we're last and I realize I don't have the ring. So I have to go get the ring, which is downstairs. So I'm, I run in heels, not a good thing. And I almost bailed several times. And, um, oops, get up. And of course now, because I'm, I had to go get the, um, the ring, there was a gap in the processional. So then everyone's like, what's going on? Where, you know, where are they? And then I run back up and we're walking and I'm trying not to breathe heavy, but the sprint that I just did, um, down two flights of steps, that was not any fun. <laughs> so I'm trying to smile and not breathe. Like I just ran a marathon and, um, <laughs> Um, we get to the end of the aisle where we're, you know, separating and, you know, he's going to his side and I'm going to my side and, um, I almost trip. Like I, what happened was my heel, the heel of my shoe hit, uh, the rose petal or I'm sorry, the crack, my toes of my shoe, I stepped on the rose petal and it made me slip, which slid my entire heel into the crack of the cement right at the very end. So there was a wobble and I almost fell down. I didn't fall. So that was, that was good. Um, but it was embarrassing. And of course my husband noticed, he goes, nice, <laughs> nice stumble at the end. <laughs> so yeah, that was, 
that was the excitement. But the rest of the wedding went off without a hitch. It was um, it was it was a very fun wedding. They kept everything very very fun and just upbeat, and um, they're just a really fun couple. So I was really I felt really happy and blessed to um, have been asked to be part of their day, and you know as the maid of honor, you know kind of a big part of the day. So it was really nice. So there that. So hopefully this that's too long. There we go. Okay. Now this one will be mine because I don't want to send anyone a gooped up one. supposed to shot. <laughs> okay. Oops, it goes this way. No, no. What is going on? Oh, there we go. It goes this way. Okay. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Hubby's calling. Be right back. Well, that's weird. He just told me that there was an ambulance that pulled up next door, so have to figure out what's going on there. Um, in a little bit, go over and once the ambulance leaves or whatever, we'll go ahead and, or I'll go ahead and go over and see if they're doing okay. So. It's really weird. I wonder I hope everything's okay. Don't have, you know, like, my neighbor isn't like BFF or anything like that, but she's really nice. She's got a young teenage daughter. I think her boyfriend has recently moved in with her. So, hope everything's okay. Okay, all right. There we go. That completes all of them. That completes all of the magnets. So all of that weight and all of that stress that I was waiting for, it's done. It's all done. So now, hang on one second, guys. Well, apparently, the ambulance is leaving. So, um, doesn't seem like it was that um, serious. They didn't come in with their lights on or anything like that. So, okay. So, this is going to go on like this. So I'll put these on. Oh. Truly is barking at something. Not sure what. She's a known barker now. Um, she actually doesn't bark that much, but enough. Off to the side. Clip. I'm using so much glue. <laughs> glue the page together. 
would not be good. And I actually do have two pages that I had previously made a mistake on and I had glued the window to the wrong side of the page like I was when I was assembling them so there's actually two pages that are kind of gunked up so they actually have plastic on them <laughs> to keep them from uh, getting on anything Hey guys, so, um, I don't know. Um, I'm going to go check with my neighbor because there is a second ambulance there with lights. So I'll be back in a bit.